Bridges and Barriers is a free after-school project that tackles prejudice, discrimination, bigotry, sectarianism and hate crime. The model involves seven workshops over five or six weeks followed by games of sport, usually football, with a focus on pupils aged 10 and 11. The strength of Bridges and Barriers is how it supports and enhances the Sense Over Sectarianism programme. Teachers deliver the divided city and associated resources at school. SOA staff deliver workshops in school time, assisting and complementing classroom education. Then Bridges and Barriers can deliver after school to reinforce that learning further still. I think it ties in with the Sense Over Sectarianism programme. The children that are in primary seven are usually in the divided city. So it ties in quite nicely with that and there's elements that the children are learning from working with North Kelvin. It's teaching the children that these things are negative, that these things shouldn't be part of our society. And has got quite a good, a good influence over the pupils, particularly with his role as a sports captain. It's created quite a buzz in the school. The after school model brings a different dimension to it, where the children are enjoying the, the sports session, but they're also getting these important messages, which are vital. The Bridges and Barriers project was originally devised as a community centred project in the northwest of Glasgow that would address and challenge the various social, cultural and historical aspects of sectarianism in Scotland. Our initial success, particularly in our partnerships with Glasgow schools, allowed us to expand the project and offer our delivery model to new partners in neighbouring communities. I believe Bridges and Barriers is very beneficial and schools in all areas of Scotland should consider taking part in it. I feel the project offers quality information on an extremely important topic. Being able to bring denominational and non-denominational schools together, I believe is the biggest impact of the project. They get to learn and play with a view to creating a stronger relationship between the schools as well as entering partnership teams into the Bridges and Barriers Football Festival. I believe the project has once again expanded its reach and grown in popularity, with the numbers of new schools taking part and previous schools also returning. The success and potential development of unexpected outcomes such as sports leaders training and providing staff training to the campus cop police officers have shown us how valuable our bridges and barriers model can be. After learning the meanings, history and negative connotations behind the phrases through the workshops, the pupils stated that they wouldn't be using the terms anymore. Judging somebody before you even meet them, and that's something you never should do.